Okay, this is for the realest video I'm going to ever do um, about my past. I have told you guys that I would do a personal walkaway video earlier today when I, my apology uh, for all these videos. But um, I just wanted to do it late, so. But anyway, um, this is also for the Me Too movement. I'm going to actually have it as a um, walkaway movement video. I apologize for tipping right line now. But the Me Too movement women, I don't think they got what sexually assault and sexual, sexual abuse is. Um, because what I've been seeing on TV, news articles, on TV shows, how they talk about what they've been through, what the sexual assault they've been through, <laughs> Nothing compared to rape and sexual abuse, which I've mentioned in other videos I've been through. Like I said, this is I mean my personal one yet. Um, I'm hoping I can get to my personal story um, before the time limit. But anyway, Me Too moment. I don't belong to you guys anymore because you guys are misunderstanding what sexual abuse and sexual assault is. So I'm going with the Corey Feldman hashtag kids too. Which Corey does talk, allow people to talk about their sexual abuse and rape. Because um, women do have sexual assaults and rapes towards them. And I like um, um I'm not sure which, um, I think it was Stu and the Blaze when I watched it when Tori Leon was there. Um, but Glenn fired her because she was poor choice. <laughs> um, that's the only thing, um, she's not for the conservative movement. Glenn made a big mistake. Um, where I'm going, I'm not going to make it. I'm going to do a Part one and part two video. Um, women who has a shows like Supreme Donuts and um, Stephanie McMahon and Monday Night Raw. Yeah, wrestling. I do watch wrestling. I'm a tomboy at the heart. And also, just recently, General Hospital, so far talked about it just last Thursday. What they were explaining was not sexual harassment, sexual abuse, or sexual assault. Touching people's shoulders, touching somebody's back, they're not sexual assault, abuse, harassment. And Stephanie McMahon, I don't know if Enzo, and Mary, such as how to do or not. I don't know who it was that he assaulted. Um, but touching your shoulder. I'm not coming at Owen fan at all. I don't like coming at Owen's attitude, but um, your reaction to him touching your shoulder? Give me a break. It's not like touching your private areas, which is sexual assault and sexual abuse. And um, Supreme Donuts were talking about how Kathy, um, I forgot her last name, her character was um, harassed jokingly and verbally. Um, that's not sexual harassment either. It might be verbally uncomfortable, but it's not such harassment. And then, like I said Thursday, these women in General Hospital touching, saying the guy came sat next to her 
touch the next to us, come, come closer and closer and closer. And then, um, not one lower back or leg or shoulder. None of them are private parts. So it's not such a thought, ladies. And the round here, um, there was a break in St. John Fisher where Buffalo Bills training camp is at, if you don't know where St. John Fisher is. Um, you have all women? Seriously, I really don't know if these women are uneducated, had sex ed, or had any kind of education about what's appropriate and what's not appropriate for sexual assault and sexual abuse and sexual harassment. None of them were anything like that. Like, still, I ran back to show, actually I had an episode of um, Wonderful World um, featuring Stu um, explaining um, you can do anything to be a woman. Even um, Dana Lash had a, um, a show and explained none of it is a such assault, n n nothing is such a harass, not such um, private parts. Um, so I'm clueless on if Me Too movement have any idea what such a movements are. Um, I go back to the key tattoo moment with me um, in the next video. Like I said, this is going to be too difficult to narrow it down for um, 15 minutes. Um, but I'm just saying, it's just kind of out of control. People just don't know what it uses. And for the women, you don't have to dress slutty and racy and show clean blood because, like you said, you have it, why not show it off? Okay, why don't you show it off and see what happens? You got raped. You got such a assault. I'm sorry if this is um, destroying your mythology. But if you dress like a slut, people think you're easy and um, want it. So women, stop dressing like a slut. Show your boobs, show your ass. No more. And for the men, I have no idea what you guys do, but I have apologize if you go through it. A friend of mine um, had to deal with it because one of the girls actually was coming on to him and forcing her and stuff on him. So um, I apologize to one of my best friend's relatives about that. Um, but people who are afraid to do Me Too movements to moments to speak up and talk about their experience or kids too because family members don't know yet and they're afraid of the reaction so was I and I will go into that to the second video too just don't be afraid to walk away from women who are overblown don't be afraid to walk away from abusive relationships if you have it. You know what it is. Don't let a man touch you if you don't want it. Don't let a man or a woman hit you. That's not love. That's abuse. And I'm just coming from the heart and experience, which I'm going to go to through the next video, which I'm going to try really hard to stick to 15 minutes, which didn't do it last night, but I'm doing this video now so I can cut some of the um, side notes in that other video. So, if you like, like this video, 
come to my kids too video and just understand where I'm coming from from sexual abuse, sexual assault and rape.